Well, hello, friends out there in YouTube land. Rob here today. I want to talk to you about a little bit of fun that I've been having with this firearm right here, the Chiapa Chiapa Rhino 40DS. We've got one right here. I want to share with you that we're completely unloaded and show you a little bit of the fun stuff that we'll be doing today with this just uh, as I take it out on the range. Let's go ahead and get a little light turned on. I didn't realize it didn't have it turned on. As you know, this is a live stream. I've been doing a lot of these live streams lately. So if you have any questions, I'll answer them down at the end or the bottom. But uh, moreover than that, let's just jump right into it. If you find out that the audio sounds a little funky, let me know, and uh, we'll go on from there. Okay, so this, this firearm right here, what makes it really cool, what makes it uh, new to school, so to speak, is the fact that it actually fires from the bottom cylinder, uh, which was pretty interesting to me. I had never fired a revolver that fired from the bottom cylinder before, so I like that quite a bit. I've uh, done a lot with firearms in the past, and you know, on this channel, I like to bring you something a little bit different every once in a while, so uh, this is exactly that. This is that whole uh, concept and idea. So today, as we're looking at this, a couple of the things that I wanted to look at was just exactly how, how well it worked for me as far as shooting it went, and I got a couple of little slides up here I think I need to, need to kind of bring through for you. So as I went out and shot it just the other day over Memorial Day weekend, this is at 10 yards, which is, of course, uh, 30 feet. And you, as you can see right here, we've got basically a half dollar size group. Not too bad. I was adjusting the sights and everything and trying to get it dialed back in. Now, the sights are pretty interesting on this pistol right here. We've got fiber optic sights uh, for the front and the rears, as you can see. Uh, but for me, as the way that I got it... Uh, Actually, I replaced the sights, the little fiber sticks directly because I didn't find that it was working the way that I needed it to. I just couldn't see them very well. You know, sometimes if the fiber optic isn't actually cut properly, it won't work very well. And that's kind of what I uh, experienced. Um, as we continue on, I was also shooting at 25 yards, which is 75 feet. And so I got, as you can see right here, I got more of a, I don't know, uh, maybe a softball size group uh, is about four inches across from there and I was shooting a little bit high when I was aiming uh, about the dead center of the target but pretty nice at uh, of course 75 feet and then okay here again as I'm getting the sights dialed in you can see right here we're still probably at a, a half dollar size as far as the group but it's a lot closer to the center and I, I definitely had this thing dialed in a lot better for the uh, 10 yard line so um not so bad. Enjoyed shooting it there. Uh, a couple of the things that I really like about the Rhino, especially as, as you look at it here, is that it just has a really interesting futuristic kind of look to it, which is uh, something interesting. I hear that this pistol has been used in movies like Blade Runner. It just looks more modern and more futuristic. It's it's pretty interesting the way that they, they put it together. The gentleman that designed this pistol has been designing them from the bottom cylinder firing shot for a long time. And this is an Italian-made pistol, and it's imported by, um, I guess it's the Chiapa, Chiapa Group out of Dayton, Ohio. So that's, that's who imports it here. Another thing to know is that the hammer itself isn't actually a hammer. It's actually a fake hammer, a faux hammer, because... All of the internals are a little bit more complicated than a standard revolver, so it works a little bit differently. And it, in order to show that, of course, we'll show clear right here, as you can see, nothing in there, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and cock the, the hammer, but this faux hammer doesn't stay back like on a standard revolver. It actually goes forward. And in order to tell that it's cocked, there's actually a little cocking indication right there because the hammer itself is really just a fake cocking device. That's all it is. Now, the way that this works, again, if you needed to decock it, you would pull the hammer all the way back, slowly and lightly press the trigger, and then allow the hammer to fall back down, and now you can open the cylinder. Of course, the cylinder crane swings out from the bottom, makes it pretty nice, and all that recoil that you would have when shooting with this pistol is actually directed towards the bottom more in line with your hand, which is what made this so much fun to shoot. Now, I've got a couple... Let me see. Here we go. I've got a couple of shots just showing you in the background the range that, that we were at and what we were doing, or, or at least I was. I had the range to myself this day, and so I was actually shooting 38 Special. I had been shooting 357 out of here, but um, I, 357 costs a lot, and I was able to get 38 Special for $17, a box of 50, and this was just uh, tall ammo right there. But as you can see, we cleared it up, looking pretty nice. Turn around this way, and we can I can kind of walk through this a little bit with you. And we get it set up, and I want you to see this fireball that comes out of here. Maybe I got it in this one or 
one of the other ones. Where's that fireball? Here we go. So here we go with that fireball. Boom. That's a big fireball right there. And the reason that's important is because if, if you're not careful, you could actually hurt your thumb. In fact, when I was first shooting this, the fireball did catch my thumb and uh, kind of injured it a little bit. That's because of the cylinder gap. And that's something that you want to make sure that you're, you're paying attention with. You want to make sure that the firearm, uh, the cylinder gap right here through the forcing cone, if you're not careful, if you have your thumbs forward by accident, uh, you could very easily get a little bite from that escaping gas. And that did happen to me in part. Uh, we did some more shooting. I got another angle right here, which is kind of neat. I think we're going over some of the different shots. Here we go. I want you to see specifically um, just what it looks like as we're, as we're loading. Let me get out of the way here. I just want you to see. This is just so much fun to shoot. All right, we're going to go up here. I'm gonna, and I, right now I'm shooting at uh, 25 yards, so I'm going to go ahead and pre-cock it or do it to single action. I guess actually this is my double action, so this must be a 10-yard shot. But look, look at that fireball, man. That fireball is just something else. It's a lot of fun. It was definitely a lot of fun to shoot. Let's see if I got one more I can share with you. And while I was out doing it, you know, 357 is a punchier round. Even shooting the 357 that I shot on a previous day, there was no real issue with that. It was it was quite a bit of fun, and it didn't really feel too hard or heavy hitting. Of course, this is a four inch barrel plus the cylinder, so it's more like a five inch uh, on a semi -auto semi automatic. <clears throat> But definitely, it was quite a bit of fun to shoot. And then shooting the 38 Special, this wasn't plus P or anything. It was very, very light shooting. You can see that fireball again, guys. Check that sucker out. Wow, <laughs> that's for real. So you only get six shots with something like this. But as to take to the range, you can even see a few little sparks as they flew out just there. Take it to the range. Have a good time with it. All of this is done in close quarters, of course, hearing and eye protection on a range that is closed while I'm filming specifically with this. With permission, everything's Good to go right here. Uh, so we did everything safely, as you could expect, and um, just had a nice time. It was really just me in the range with uh, a GoPro <laughs> that was that was doing all the work for the recording. But what I was trying to say moreover than anything else was, this, this: if you're not used to shooting revolvers or whatever, and if you have ever shot a revolver, shooting one like this is a lot of fun because it takes the recoil that would normally pop back real heavy and it pushes more of a press back. So that 357 Magnum can still hit a little bit hard, but you don't feel it the same way because all that force just goes straight down your shoulder. You can watch the recoil as we are right here once you get ready to shoot. I guess those guys right there want to see. The pistol stays almost completely flat even here, especially with this uh, 38 Special. Just a really great shooting gun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Lots and lots of fun. And here's some shots. Maybe we can get that in where we're going down here to shoot at this 25 yards all the way down at the end. As you can see right over here, boom. In fact, there's enough concussion. If you'll notice, I'll put my mouse on the target, and then the concussion from the firearm itself, even that 38 Special, will actually cause the camera to shake just a little bit. See? Pretty interesting right there. And you can see that big fireball still, so quite a bit of fun. So if you're going out for a fun day on the range and things like that, let's see where we are. Um, we've got some of our shots right there. Yeah, then this is a great pistol to take with you. Fun, easy to shoot. My boys love it and just had a great time all in one. So so the Kiapa Rhino definitely gets my vote of approval. I enjoyed shooting this, had a good time with it. And if you're out there, next time you get a chance to see one, don't forget to give it a shot. Try it out. You'll enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you will. All right, guys. That'll do it for me today. I'm going to send this all out on just a little bit of stay right there. Maybe stay right there. Maybe not.